Well, Mark and Terry, first of all, welcome back. How happy are you to have signed and be back? Yeah, delighted. I think you can see the smile on our, on our faces. Obviously, coming back to a club we've got a lot of deep affiliation with and, you know, very close to our hearts. I think that was the, you know, it's very, happened very, very quickly. I don't think uh, discussions were long at all. It was a case of, right, when, and let's get to work. <laughs> Sorry, Peter. Yeah, obviously a great opportunity for both of us to uh, work in an environment that we know and work alongside really good people and that will be Mark's mantra if you like to, to work alongside good people, great supporters and a club that we know really really well. Because of course you both got successful and special moments with the club, you've got a lot of history with the club and as you mentioned off camera Mark it's a club that you've held close to your heart for a long time. Yeah definitely and you know it's obviously one of the first results you always look for so I've always been following them closely and I'd be lying if I said I never dreamt or thought that I'd ever you know get this chance so when it when it when it come up I've obviously jumped and grabbed it with both hands and then and, and Terry talks about good people uh, any success that you know I've ever been around has always been with good people and when I when I look around this football club and see some familiar faces in the, in the Aldershot family I know I'm surrounded by good people you know none more than, than Terry sitting next to me and my assistant coming in with me as well so uh, I think that's key to anything is having the right people around you and uh, I said the memories that I have at the football club I hold dearly to my heart and I want to be adding to them now. And Terry, how excited are you both of you to be bringing back the special moments you've both been a part of in the past as well? Yeah, we want to put the smiles back on the East Bank and both of us are looking forward to the, the atmosphere at, at the Rec EVB Stadium. It's fantastic and there's not a lot of clubs, especially at this level, can go anywhere near matching the atmosphere you get in the wreck and we want to transfer that from not being something um, you're a little bit frightened of and wary of because um, if you're not doing that well but boy, we want to reignite that East Bank and, uh, and Mark is a very very ambitious manager and I'll say this now Mark and his management team haven't come here to play in the Blue Square South we're looking upwards, we're not looking over our shoulder at, uh, at anything below us, we're looking upwards and, uh, and let me quantify that by saying we're both aware this club has been one of the very few clubs that's been really honest with their fan base and said look we've got some problems with the finance, we need to be sustainable, the club's gone pear shaped a couple of times before, we're not here to make the club go pear shaped but we are here to squeeze every pound we can out of you know the money that Butts raises and and I'd like to say something about Butts as well because you know, he's almost part of that management team. Not only is he the lifeblood of this club, but he's very knowledgeable about football. You know, I've just spent half a day talking to to Mark and uh, you know when when this Mark said. You're surrounded by good people. We are surrounded by good people here. Yeah. Exactly. You mentioned Mark. Obviously, being an ambitious person, you've got the history to back that up with the back-to-back -back promotion with Weymouth. How will you be transferring those those skills and management skills you've learned along the way of your career to the club here? Yeah, I think first of all, it's all about setting the right environment. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're demanding as a as a management team, but um, you know, we can't wait to get to work. I'm excited by the potential of the group. It's about realising that potential, but we're going to be built on hard work, and we're going to be built on the training field out there and it's all about hard work, attention to detail and uh, you know the attitude I and mean, you know we're, all the shots should be a team that is, is feared you know we're not you know we're not going up against people you know people should be worried about us you know and we've got to build that mentality back again uh, and until that is all the shot against the world. And Terry let's talk about yourself a little bit more as well obviously the skills you've brought along the way what will you be bringing into the role here? I think uh, like I said, uh, this management team is incredibly ambitious, so part of my job will be to, to nullify his ambition because he expects to be in the, the Football League sooner rather than later. And it's just getting that balance right, as in um, the other thing that we're able to, to bring to the party is a network of incredible contacts. and. It, it's, I would like to say as well that Danny has left us with a, a, 
a good squad of talented players. It, it's too small, and Danny knew that was too small as well. So we've got to get some more players in. We've, we've got to increase the, the size of the squad. Um, that's got to be based around goals because not only did we lose four of our best players last year, we we lost a lot of goals. So we don't expect it to be easy. We don't expect to, to immediately chalk in, you know, ten wins out of eight or something. It's it's, it's what was it? Ten wins out of eight? eight wins out of ten. Um, it, it's 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 building up Mark's team and making sure that uh, we can have a good look at the current squad. Because like I said, we've got some players in there and um, give them a chance to show off their skills and and then look at sustainably, and I know that seems almost like a derogatory word to use, but you have to work within your budget. You both spoke about the squad and the current squad we've got and the season obviously we've had so far. What's been your take on the season so far and the squad we've got in place at the moment? I said I'm excited by the potential of the squad. Like Terry alluded there, we've left a you know, a talented squad, and it's up to us to get every bit of that. You know, every bit we've got to drain that and get everything out of it. Um, you know, and that's that's what I love to do. I love to work out on that training pitch. You know, we've got to be the best version of ourselves first and foremost. We've got to set the standard, but then we also, you know, we've got to try and, you know, we our passion is improving people, making people the best they possibly can be, and, and that's going to be built on the, on the training ground, and that's going to be through hard work. And like I said, I'm, I'm still smiling now. I can't wait to get to work. I'm really, I'm really, really excited to see the facilities here. I've been, you know, blown away by the professionalism that we've got here now with the, you know, the food and the, and the facilities. So um, yeah, there's it's, 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 um, plenty to work with here, and I uh, can't wait to get, can't wait to, to meet the players and, and get to work. Just a word on that as well. You mentioned the facilities there, Mark. How impressed have you been? How excited are you with the projects in place? I have to say I've been blown away with the uh, the training facilities, and it's that's a massive important of, of what Mark. When you hear Mark talk, and it's it's a working environment, and this is where we make the better players out here. Match days are different than to do all together. To have these facilities gives you an opportunity to recruit from bigger and better clubs and boys who have maybe not quite made it at the, the bigger clubs. If we're looking at uh, adding some loans, then you know you bring you bring the the players down here, and they're going to be they're going to be really impressed with what we've got. So no excuses, and, and Mark and I won't look for excuses. And uh, I'm just as excited as Mark is to be honest. You mentioned Mark being an ambitious individual. Mark, what are your goals for the short term, long term, and medium? No, I think for anything like in football management, you've got to try and have a short term impact straight away to 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 be able to be able to um, deliver your long term plan. But um, look, there's no outlandish statements from me today. It's all about assessing what's out there, getting to work, and, and, and like I said, getting people to be the best they possibly can around the place. But like I said. You know, we can sell this football club very easily. You know, look at East Bank, <laughs> uh, look at the football club as a whole, and now we've got some training facilities to back that up as well. Um, so, you know, the fans will always sell this football club. Um, you know, that's, that's why we're back here. It's because of our, our love for the club, and that's something we've got to reignite because together we're, we're stronger. Of course, first game for you guys would be the game against Halifax on Saturday at home. Doesn't ask much better than that. A game at home to start your season off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's the exciting part of it, you know, and, uh, you know, my heart's pumping now, you know, really looking forward to it, but now it's time about, you know, switching my head on now, not letting my heart rule my head, you know, it's about getting that clarity and that conviction in the way that we want to do things, we want to put, imprint our DNA, if you like, on, on, on the team and, uh, you know, time is of an essence now, we can't waste a second, can't wait to get, get, get out on that training field tomorrow and, uh, you know, start realising the potential of this group. Terry, no doubt you'll be there to support Mark and everything he needs from a manager perspective and from a playing perspective as well. Yeah, I'm very much there to support whatever Mark needs and to liaise between the football management and the board. And I think, especially for the long term future, that's massively important because you have to plan um, a proper structure if you want to get back into the, the football league. And it's not about us flying back in this year, it's about us getting 
a stable environment that uh, that we're not, you know, we're nearer the top than we are the bottom. Um, we're, we're not, um, as, as Mark said, we're not going to be ridiculously, you know, forecasting an immediate change because it's probably going back, you know, since Gary left three three years ago that it's been a struggle. We think it will be a struggle initially and uh, it's, it's up to the, the players we currently got to buy into to Mark's model and uh, and be part of something a little bit uh, special and uh, I'm, I'm sure that they will. Just to finish off this interview guys, just a quick word from you guys to the fans about you know how happy you are to be back and the final message to them. Yeah, I think just echo what I said, I'm back because of them, you know, we we chose all the shot as much as they chose us, you know, it's a, it was a, a seamless thing because we want to be here, um, you know, like I said, I'd be lying, I said I never thought of this moment uh, or dreamt of this moment, so it's, it's, it's great to be back and like I said, they, they will sell the club as much as I as I do, um, you know, it's a great place to play your football and Terry said when that East Bank's rocking, there's, there's no better club than us at this level and uh, it's, it's time for us to you know, make some strides now and um, give give the fans a team to be proud of, a hard working team who will hopefully play some exciting football. And Derek, kind of I think Mark said it all there, and it's it's, it's Mark Mark's day today, and uh, he's the gaffer. He still calls me gaffer. I'm telling no, no, you're the gaffer. He is the gaffer, and he um, he'll be a great gaffer for us. Are you in with the shop? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.